Hello once again, this is Christopher Neufeld of Neufeld Legal and this is my continuing YouTube video series on business incorporation and business development. In this particular YouTube video, we will be asking that all important question, is federal incorporation the appropriate form for incorporating one's business? Now, there's really two main aspects which are cited as the reasons for incorporating federally. The first reason is that it provides countrywide name protection. This in some respects can be good, but can also be achieved further by trademarking one's name. But then we also have to consider the importance of the domain name registration. Domain names have become the more prevalent way of protecting one's business name, such that incorporating provincially, together with having the appropriate domain name that reflects one's business name, is often more than adequate. Another claim is that a federal corporation provides the prominence of a national company. This is something that is put forth by the federal government largely because they want to generate additional revenues and have people incorporating with the federal government as opposed to the provinces. However, I question how valuable that is given that most people um, look at the company and do not really question its name and from those outside the country, the most prominent are business people in the United States. And in the United States, they incorporate only at the state level, such that they won't necessarily question whether it's at the federal or provincial level that incorporation is done, when they don't even incorporate at the federal level in the United States. So what are some of the other points that go into selecting between a federal and a provincial incorporation? Well, if you're incorporating in Ontario and only going to be operating in Ontario, there is a potential that using a federal corporation, it is going to be cheaper. And that is simply because in Ontario, there is no extra provincial registration fee. Nevertheless, you always have the annual filing fees and requirements associated therewith, which do build up and represent an additional burden such that within a relatively short span of time, the federal corporation will cost as much over time as the Ontario Provincial Corporation. And there is also the greater potential for administrative dissolution, which can be corrected by filing articles and paying an added fee of several hundred dollars to the government. But is that really what you're looking to do? Even in Ontario where there is not that tendency to administratively dissolve the company as you find at the federal level. Now with the exception of Ontario which doesn't charge a fee with respect to their extra-provincial registration, extra-provincial registration in most other provinces run you anywhere in the mid $200 to $300 of fees, which is typically the same amount as the provincial registration, such that you're not coming ahead in those provinces. You're actually falling behind because you have to pay a fee to be registered in that particular province in addition to the fee that you're paying at the federal level. And on top of that, you now have two annual fees at a minimum that you're paying, one at the provincial level and one at the federal level. So that's something to be considered. Finally, if you're going to be operating a business in multiple provinces in Western Canada, 
you won't necessarily get the benefit of the new Western Partnership Trade Agreement, which was designed to allow companies in Alberta, Saskatchewan, and BC, well, really the businesses, to operate more effectively in those provinces without having to pay the higher extra-provincial fee registrations, but to pay a more nominal fee to be operating in each of those three provinces. So that's a, another consideration that needs to be taken into account when looking at federal versus provincial incorporation. Naturally, every incorporation needs to be done on a case-by-case -case basis, such that there may be reasons to incorporate federally, and there may be reasons to incorporate provincially. Nevertheless, you should understand all the different dynamics, and it is always advisable to get the advice and recommendations of a knowledgeable corporate lawyer who can address the specifics that you're looking at. Hopefully this video has proven informative and has been able to enlighten you on certain aspects of the incorporation process. We hope you select the like button below and subscribe to our video channel as it is our intention to continue to produce more informative business videos that we hope will provide you greater insights and guidance with respect to successfully profiting from your particular business enterprise. Thank you.